A daily morning swim is what brought Deborah to Avila Beach in August 2003. The day was supposed to be uneventful, but something dangerous was lurking underneath the waves. Today we're going to talk about Deborah Frensman's fatal encounter with a great white shark. Hit like and subscribe. This is Fierce. The morning of August 19, 2003 started as usual for the small community of roughly 1,500 residents of Avila Beach, a picturesque coastal town in San Luis Obispo County, California. It looked like the perfect day for a morning swim, with the sun casting a golden glow over the crystal clear waters. As Deborah Fransman looked over to the beach from her kitchen window, she thought she couldn't miss a rare opportunity like this one, so she woke her partner up got ready, and headed to the beach with their dogs. Fifty-year-old Deborah was well-liked in her community. She taught sociology at Allen Hancock College in Santa Maria, where she was well-known for her dedication to her students and for her craft. To her teenage son, Alex, Deborah was also a loving mother. Her friends and relatives knew Deborah as a caring and understanding mother who prioritized spending time with her family. Deborah had another role in life besides being a teacher and a mother, that of an avid athlete. In addition to participating in triathlons, she enjoyed hiking, swimming, and golfing. Her commitment to physical well-being and her adventurous nature were well known to everybody in her life. On the morning of August 19, 2003, she put on her full-body wetsuit, which kept her warm, and fastened her fins. Then, she focused on where she was going, which was 200 yards south of Avila Pier and roughly 75 yards offshore, according to witnesses on the beach. Though the water was almost 20 feet deep there, Deborah knew this area well. She felt at home here, surrounded by the rhythmic sounds of the waves and the occasional sea creatures that swam around her. Right in the spot she was about to swim, beachgoers saw a bunch of sea lions swimming around. For many people, this looked like a serene scene, but for connoisseurs, it was a dark omen. Swimming with sea lions, as Deborah often did, can be a magical experience. These playful and clever animals are well known for their curiosity and aquatic skills. They are gregarious creatures that are frequently observed in groups, and they love interacting with divers and swimmers. But there are dangers associated with swimming with sea lions. Great white sharks primarily feed on sea lions, and their presence can draw these predators. It's common knowledge that a shark is nearby when sea lions abruptly vanish under the water. Unfortunately, this is exactly what happened to Deborah on that beautiful Tuesday morning. As Deborah continued her swim, reaching a depth of about 20 feet, she was unaware of the danger that lurked close by. A pot of sea lions, seemingly curious to get to know the 50-year-old woman, approached her, swimming playfully around her. Sea lions were a common sight on Avila Beach. Deborah often watched them from afar, either on land or in water, but never had the courage to get closer. The sleek and agile sea lions darted around, chasing schools of fish and playing in the surf. Seen from afar, it was a splendid picture. The animals were breathtaking. From beneath the surface, the sea lions felt the presence of another creature, a great white shark, one of the ocean's most formidable predators, was cruising the nearby waters. Noted for their speed and stealth, these sharks are often called ambush predators due to the devastating force with which they strike their prey from below. They have the ability to grow to a length of 20 feet and a weight of over 4,000 pounds. These sharks are found worldwide in the oceans, but they are most prevalent in the coastal waters of California. As apex predators, great white sharks occupy the highest position in the food chain. They usually eat marine mammals like seals, sea lions, and dolphins, but also fish and seabirds. Their jaws are well known for their ability to bite with up to 4,000 pounds of force. Because of this, they can take big bites out of their victim often delivering a single, lethal blow. Usually, a great white shark will attack with a single, strong bite. The goal of this first blow is to knock the victim unconscious with heavy bleeding. After that, the shark will frequently withdraw and wait for the victim to deteriorate or die before resuming its feeding. But when it comes to humans, 
Sharks usually give up the attack after the first bite, realizing they've bitten into something different than their typical meal. As Deborah continued her swim among the sea lions, the spectacular moment turned into a scene straight out of a horror movie. According to witnesses on the shore, the pod of sea lions vanished abruptly as a mass of water began to rise. This sudden disappearance was a warning sign, indicating that a predator was near. In the blink of an eye, Deborah was gone too. In her stead, a gray fin was circling the bloody scene of the crime. The great white shark struck from below, breaching the surface and delivering a massive bite to Deborah's left hip. She had absolutely no time to react. The shark's jaws hit her hip bone, which acted like a barrier, slowing the speed of the attack. Then the shark struck her left leg. The force of the bite tore most of the tissue from her leg, and the churning water quickly turned red with blood. The attack was quick and efficient. Deborah was left unconscious, and the shark was waiting in the shadows for her to die before continuing to feast on her body. One of Deborah's friends was on the beach when they saw what happened. They let out a horrified scream, alerting the lifeguards. A shark's got her! A shark's got her! Five lifeguards ran down the pier and dove into the water without thinking twice. Despite not knowing what was ahead of them or having any rescue equipment, they felt compelled to try and save Deborah. The lifeguards raced into the water to get to Deborah, who was floating face down. When they reached her, they carefully turned her body over and looked at the horrifying injury. In a race against time, they swam together toward the coast. In a last-ditch effort to save Deborah, they laid her down on the sand and started CPR. Sadly, despite their heroic efforts, it was already too late. Paramedics pronounced Deborah dead at the scene. The massive bites and all the blood she had lost had been fatal. Deborah's injuries were later examined by Robert Leah, a marine biologist with the California Department of Fish and Game, who confirmed that the bite was consistent with that of a great white shark. Deborah's intuition that day failed her. Despite avoiding the pot of sea lions before, something called on her that day. Unfortunately, her story ended abruptly, in the jaws of a vicious predator and under the eyes of her loved ones. Stories like this one remind us of the perils that hide beneath the ocean's surface. Despite what you might want to believe, you're never alone when you swim in open waters.